The movie is set in a dystopian world where people drink a rosy red-colored liquid instead of water. Not only is it a necessity, but also a compulsion, as those who refuse to drink the liquid are apprehended and jailed as criminals. The liquid is free for everyone in this world, and all the people drink it with pleasure. In fact, the liquid has changed the world into a better place. There's no longer violence, crime, or sadness. Everyone is happy and enthusiastic all the time. At the start of the movie, a man named Loke is seen running through an isolated tunnel. He appears to be scared and fleeing from someone. Suddenly, he comes across a table where a lot of cups containing the red liquid are present. Loke picks one of them up and proceeds to drink it. But just then, a strange lady appears out of nowhere and shouts at him. As a result, Loke drops the glass and it shatters to pieces. In the next scene, Loke wakes up at home in a cold sweat. It turns out that everything was only his nightmare. He heads to the kitchen and greets his wife, Kim, who is expecting a child. Shortly after, Kim fills two glasses with the same liquid and brings it to the dining table where her husband is waiting. The two then drink it with the utmost respect, as if they're reciting the national anthem. Once the breakfast is done, Loke gets ready for work and leaves. On the way downstairs, he runs into his neighbor's little girl and they greet each other happily. Shortly after, he bumps into his plumber, who also happens to be very cheerful. The two chat for a while and then depart. On the way to the office, Loke listens to the weather forecast on his earphones and smiles gently, as it's another day full of energy. He works for a large finance company which is very popular in the city. Moreover, Loke is an excellent employee, as every day he's praised by his boss for his hard work and sincerity. Before lunch, all the employees line up and drink the rose water together. They put their hands on their chest and drink the strange liquid with pride. Later in the evening, as everyone is finishing up their work, a terrified lady suddenly appears on Loke's computer. The lady warns Loke not to drink the rose water, as it's a drug that's used to alter the nervous system. Slowly, the government is trying to control the people and make them their slaves. Before ending the transmission, the lady gives her coordinates and mentions that if anyone wants to get out of this world, they should find her. Taken aback, Loke asks his colleagues if they too got the message, but none of them respond. Just then, the office time is up and everyone leaves. A confused Loke pulls up the video again, but this time the same lady has become very different and she is promoting the virtues of the rose water. As Loke continues to stare at the screen in disbelief, a warning sign suddenly pops up and soon his boss confronts him from behind. It turns out that working overtime in this world is illegal, hence Loke is forced to get out. On his way home, Loke continuously thinks of the strange lady. He uses the coordinates given earlier by the lady, but when he reaches halfway, his phone tells him that the coordinates have disappeared. Still, Loke walks along a nearby tunnel and sees some policemen escorting a couple out. One of the cops tells Loke that the tunnel has collapsed, so he should return back. The cops then feed the couple with rose water and depart. Later at home, Kim hands Loke a glass of the rose water as usual, but this time he doesn't drink it. Instead, he pours it in the sink. At night, Loke once again has a nightmare. He's running around in a dark and desolate forest. A lady from the sky keeps calling him and he wakes up scared. There is blood on the bedsheets and the pictures on the walls are crooked and twisted. Moreover, the finely decorated house has also become rough and dirty. Panicked, Loke quickly goes to his wife, but surprisingly, even she has changed. The always charming and happy Kim has become angry and vengeful. She scolds him for getting up late and prepares a very nasty breakfast for him, something which he cannot eat. Loke asks her about the breakfast, but an impatient Kim hands him his belongings and throws him out of the house. When he goes downstairs, he finds the neighbor's girl, but unlike other times, she is cold and impolite. Then he meets the plumber, who's also very rude to him. 
All these strange occurrences scare Loke deeply, and he begins to wonder what he did wrong. When he reaches his workplace, he notices all his colleagues in a miserable state, trashing their office. Loke is also scolded by the boss for coming late. Moreover, the terrified old man immediately suspects Loke of not drinking the rose water. As a boss, he doesn't care about the company's profit and loss. What he cares most about is whether the company's employees are drinking the rose water or not. The two quarrel for a while, but Loke leaves the place without drinking the rose water as ordered by his boss. In the next scene, when Loke prepares to leave for home, two policemen suddenly start chasing him. It turns out that the boss called the cops on Loke. Terrified of being taken away, Loke runs away and jumps in a queue of people who are ready to drink the strange water. He also picks up a glass and pretends to drink it so that the cops don't notice him. After the danger is averted, Loke calls his wife, but she doesn't answer. Later, he reaches home and knocks on the door several times, but once again, there's no answer. Enraged, he uses the emergency security code on the door and gets in. However, what he sees inside shocks him. His house, which was once clean and tidy, is now in a dilapidated state, with garbage lying all around. Just then, he hears someone laughing and moaning in the washroom. On checking, he finds the plumber being intimate with his wife. Enraged, Loke picks up a knife and repeatedly stabs the plumber to death. But as soon as he commits the murder, he becomes distraught and starts crying. Left with no options, he picks up a glass of rose water kept nearby and drinks it in one gulp. Lo and behold, the world around him changes, and everything that was grim and dark becomes normal now. As Loke is smiling, the washroom door opens, and out comes his fully dressed wife and the plumber. They were just fixing the toilet. Moreover, Kim is cheerful and happy. As soon as the plumber leaves, she hugs her husband and the two have an emotional moment. Now, Loke is finally relieved. Everything seemed like a dream for him, but when he sees the advertisement on the television, a sharp pain goes through his head. Loke has flashbacks of everything that he went through that day. When he snaps out of it, a worried Kim is standing beside him with a glass of rose water. However, even this time, a confused Loke throws the glass from her hand, refusing to drink the water. He also shouts at his wife to stop drinking the water, but she seems to be unfazed. As he's trying to convince his wife to stop, he again experiences a sharp headache and falls to the ground. And in the flash of a second, the whole house turned into a grim place again. Loke forcefully tries to stop Kim from drinking the water, but she instead wrestles him to the ground and calls the police. She also grabs a knife and tries to stab him to death, but fortunately, Loke escapes from the house and locks the door. Believing that the tunnel is the place where he can meet the strange lady from before, Loke rushes there. Along the way, he bumps into several people who have become resentful and angry. Suddenly, two policemen spot him and start chasing after him, but Loke manages to outrun them and hides in a corner. From there, he witnesses the policeman dragging another man and forcefully feeding him with the rose water. It appears as if the man also got the message from the strange lady, but sadly, he's apprehended. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Loke makes a run for it. On the way, he gets a call from his wife who asks him to return home in a sweet tone. But Loke knows that it's a lie, so he tells her that he's never coming back. Just then, the policemen also arrive, but just before they can catch Loke, he throws his phone and flees. Seconds later, he finally gets out of the tunnel. He enters the same forest that he saw in his dream, which is dark and strange. Loke continues walking for a while, but ultimately drops down because of exhaustion. When he wakes up, the same strange woman from before approaches him and congratulates him on making it out of the fantasy world. She then gives him a glass of normal water and asks him to drink it. This is the first time Loke has come across normal water, so he's skeptical whether he should drink it or not. The movie ends as Loke holds the cup and stares menacingly into the lady's eyes.